issues that are happening today will always be linked in the description below. Hope you guys educate yourselves and learn from the issues to know how to donate and help as well. See you! Hi guys! Hi everyone! Hi, hi, hi! Hello everyone! What is up? Hold Terika here and it's 2021 today! So by the time you see this video, it's already January 1, 2021. We finished 2020 a hell of a year. Because we're stuck in a pandemic, we're stuck at home, we weren't able to really savor the year and do what we really want to do due to these circumstances we may have lost friends like like grow grew out of these friendships uh maybe gained it for some that's good for you uh, got into a lot of misunderstandings um had to tackle multiple issues at a time about people who really need it which is a hell of a roller coaster and a way for us as well to learn more about these people and the environment around us today i guess i want to share a life update kind of video kind of chatty type of video on on my experiences in 2020 i guess and how we will welcome 2021 with open arms and hopefully things will get better because so far it's kind of doing so so it's kind of doing so so right now and sorry if i jump a little bit <laughs> i don't have a script i just really wanted to say what's in my heart right uh, right at this moment and i hope you guys um just stay put through there I'm re um yeah and whew, this is a lot to take in because 2020 has been really insane for me the fact that i am just here at home is pretty not um unique to me because i'm pretty much a homebody that i always stay at home anyways because i either are not i most of the time when i was like um young and stuff i do not go outside with friends because i wouldn't be allowed to or people would not want me to take a chaperone with me because they would just hate me or i wouldn't be able to really you know enjoy it but regardless um i still enjoyed the friendships and um the experiences i had in 2020 because of many factors in my life such as anime recently stray kids i'm listening to more k-pop because it just took over my life um and also just really got the time to know myself better and you know help myself deal with a lot of burnouts this year this year has also been a year where i had lots and lots of burnouts that i feel like i don't want to do anything and at the same time i want to do something you know i hadn't really been improving on my heart recently to be honest because of you know college and just so many things to juggle and i've been questioning myself as well about my body image because i've been trying to make myself look healthier <laughs> look healthier as look and feel healthier and try to lose weight while i'm here at home just being stuck doing nothing i won't be able to walk outside because you know the pandemic so i had whoops i had to treadmill for a while at least hopefully that you know and do the challenges and stuff i hope that one day i'll go back to dancing probably i'll probably do some covers as well who knows i'm not really sure about that and um there'll be hopefully more content for this channel something new and i am really really excited to to tell you guys about the new things that may arose arise <laughs> arise from this channel 2020 has been a year of discovering oneself because you are just at home maybe you, you have talent 
in doing something like a hidden talent that you didn't know or maybe you have a skill in entrepreneurship many people have been opening online businesses recently due to tiktok and due to being in quarantine why not use this time to help yourself and the family by opening a small business you know which is which is what i love because everyone's really just supporting each other during this time supporting small businesses especially you know in shopee lazada online shopping has been increased recently actually um, i bought a lot of stuff there especially towards the end of the year where i got pocket money got where i have pocket money from you know refunding the billy eilish concert that unfortunately got cancelled due to that which is pretty sad because it's my first Billie Eilish concert and I always wanted to see her live actually. I really love her music so don't attack me. Um, <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about her music that I really really love. And it makes me feel like I'm safe somehow. Like even though I'm crying, I feel safe and I feel, you know, like I'm talking to bed. And the fact that she's almost in the same age as me is pretty insane. It's pretty wild, like makes you think that at her age, she's doing amazing stuff. I don't know. What I love about Stray Kids in Kasaya, Stray Kids in Kasaya um, I feel like I stand them mostly because they're in the same generation as me. Especially the 400 liners, 2000 liners, Jisung, Hyunjin, Felix, and Shungmin, the four of them. Like, the half of Stray Kids is basically born in the same year as I am. So, I feel like... They're doing amazing stuff like this. Like they're already achieving so many awards or they have so many fans, adoring fans like me. And they 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 just, you know, keep on practicing, keep on doing what they're good at, improving, learning new things. And that makes me think basically like it feels inspiring that someone at the same age as mine are doing this amazing stuff and hopefully one and hope and one day i'll be able to do all this stuff as well like you know um improving myself learning more and hopefully you know being the better person that i am second of all um i know my thoughts are just so combative but i'm just wanna talking about my learnings and lessons from 2020 hopefully and also 2020 has been a year where we i feel like as a community has been speaking more about issues that needs to be raised by the way um many issues are still on the rise black lives matter the flooding in the philippines in mindanao in luzon everywhere it, the people still need help i will link everything that is needed in the description below because you know everyone needs help today Everyone needs to stand up for what is right because it is a year that we must put an end or at least lessen these injustices. Injustices happening to people and you know helping people rise up from this occasion. Ooh, that's a lot of taking. Um, I also feel like that. You know aside from learning oneself and learning about others learning about society as well it's it's just a year where maybe where maybe like thing like new things have happened due to the quarantine like you're just stuck at home maybe doing nothing maybe studying too much like you learned a lot about not just yourself not just the community around you and the whole world the issues happening but also maybe you know like um new types of media new types of media maybe you're into like new games into recently or um new a new style of art or maybe a new aesthetic that you're trying to blend yourself in per se you know like fashion like many people had you know adjusted themselves knew themselves more and you know so deep into that like inside and outside i think 2020 definitely changed our lives either some for the better actually just rarely better because everyone changed in 2020 for the worse in a way that the economy economy has lessened 
they had less money to work with because obviously jobs are closing jobs are closing and but you know the government had no choice but to open these stores up again because the economy will go down the economy will go down if if we don't um, open these shops up at least for a while but just you know maintain social distancing wear a mask sanitize yourself off more often so yeah more often so at least during that part i'm really thankful that we as a family had survived but for the others i really hope that they rest in peace and for the ones who have covid19 right now i hope you guys recover and you know take care of yourselves as well maintain quarantine you know protocol so that no one deals with it and in 2020 as well i just feel like um i'm, I'm just tired i guess of people who still go out in a way that they don't wear masks you know like they don't maintain protocols and stuff like you guys wanted the quarantine to stop you just wanted this to stop you tell everyone to maintain social distancing maintain quarantine protocols and yet you guys still don't do it people on the internet probably know who i'm talking about <laughs> um not just in the philippines actually in this whole world especially america i'm tired of it like can we actually hold um influencers accountable for this because um we are tired of them you know, saying i have i'm sorry for going outside during the quarantine i'm sorry for partying during the quarantine even though it's not necessarily needed like man billy eilish and ariana grande already called you guys out and yet you guys are still doing this and some of you are even have the audacity to go to bahamas i don't know but it's tiring and in the philippines well you know the situation with you know who i won't tell you i won't name this <laughs> so yeah i it's it's pretty good and insane here even though we're just stuck at home like many stuff has been happening and it's been crazy so um, in 2021, let's move on. Na. Move on na tayo for 2021. So my hopes for 2021 is that I really hope that the vaccines that will be released all over the world, they will be healthier and they are, you know, done with care. Like it doesn't have to be fast to be honest. Even even though the vaccine may move into 2022 to be honest, as long as the vaccine is safe, as long as it is 100 or to be honest, 90% or 99.9% .9 effective because there's no 100% 100 percent um effective because you know there's no there's nothing perfect i think even in dishwashing soaps it's not perfect they only do 99.9% .9 of germs right so as long as the vaccine is healthy and you know the virus is slowly going down i think it's and also um as long as the government government um hold um strict um strict protocols and not go back on their word and you know engage in corruption and all those stuff i think that safe to say that hopefully the world will go back to normal and you know we'll be able to have the lives that we used to have and hopefully in 2021 as well we'll learn ourselves more we'll like as the year goes on that we're still probably in quarantine and in two months it will mark the first year of covid 19. <laughs> i don't want to celebrate that to be honest but yeah um yeah so i hope we all still continue to be our amazing selves this 2021 i hope we all are safe in 2021 i'm and you know i am excited for the new content i'll be able to release on youtube on this channel and i hope i get to talk about more animes aside from haikyuu maybe jujutsu kaisen when i get the gist when i get the time because right now i might be more into stray kids at the moment and uh, you know i'm staying updated to stray kids recently because i don't know i just feel like i feel connected with them in a way that there's just so much content i feel so happy <laughs> anyways um i 
hope that I get to experience more stuff with you guys with you guys especially and I guess that marks the end of the video and thank you guys so much for watching or at least listening because this is just a little short chatty video per se make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe to my channel as well and of course let us chat in social media as well if you want to stay updated on where i upload my next video links in the description below or you can just follow me here it's my username all at erica it's usually the same and i will see you guys in the next video and bye bye kisses well happy new year